Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. This is Brewster, my doggy. He may be coming in and out of the frame. Okay, you might be hearing him bark or something in the background. I wanted to just give you that little disclaimer at the beginning. So, welcome to my channel. I'm an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher. I like to combine the, both of those modalities to bring you a practice on the chair that combines Chinese medicine, yoga, some tapping on the meridians, pressing onto those meridians, and giving you some ideas of how to make you feel a little more balanced, a little more strong. Today we're working on the core, and of course, more flexible. Okay, so I want you to find yourself a nice, comfortable seated position on your chair. Find a chair today. I'm going to be using one with no arms because I'm gonna be doing a little bit more with my arms today. So maybe you wanna have one with no arms to give you a little bit more freedom. We're gonna find ourselves seated with our bow sits bones on that chair and then have our feet hip width distance apart. The starting posture of your chair yoga is very important because you always wanna make sure that you're rooted, grounded into that chair and you're position so that you're going to get the maximum benefit of the practice. So feet hip width distance apart, knees on top of ankle, shoulders stuck on top of the waist, chin drawn in slightly, and then the crown of the head lifted as though somebody's pulling you, as though you're a marionette, and somebody's pulling you at the top of the head with a string, and then that elongates and lengthens up your vertebrae, your spine, whoop, like that. Okay, now when that you're in that position, we always want to remind ourselves that if anything feels uncomfortable, you're gonna stop and not do it. We're always gonna honor our body and feel really good with what we're doing in our practice. So at any time of the practice, it's uncomfortable or you're feeling discomfort, pain, we're stopping. And then maybe you'll find yourself back here another day or later on. Okay, we're gonna start our practice with our hands right down on the lap. Nicely positioned, remember those shoulders stacked on top of the waist. We're gonna go ahead, closing our eyes and taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. See if you can do a little bit of a sigh as you breathe out. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. In Chinese medicine, if we sigh outward, we're softening and relaxing, soothing our liver. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathing in, and I'm gonna do an audible sigh. Does that feel good? Now I want you to try. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose warming up the sinuses, okay? That whole sinus cavity. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. One more time, breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. Okay, well done. Open up your eyes. If they were closed, we're gonna take the arms all the way up, in through the nose, and now through the mouth or the nose, if you wish, whichever one feels comfortable for you as you lower your hands down. Inhaling, arms up, and exhaling. Again, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Okay, arms out to the sides, breathing in, expanding. Exhale, breathe out. Again, breathing in, expanding the lungs. Exhale, out. Inhale, and exhale. So when we start our practice, we're trying to open up that chest cavity, open, expand our lungs, preparing for our practice for something a little bit more intense. So breathing in, exhale, breathing out. Wonderful. Let's take the right arm all the way up. Relax both shoulders. Keep that tall, nice spine up. Draw the belly in and sway to the side. Give a little side sway. 
Good. So when we sway to the side, we're opening up the intercostal spaces of our ribs right down to the hips. So both sits bones are rooted down to the chair. I want you to breathe here in and out. You may need to engage your belly to come back up, breathing in and release. We're going to do the other side, lifting up, relax both shoulders, tall spine, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Focusing on rooting those sits bones down into the chair, softening the shoulders, breathing in and out. Good. Come on all the way back up, in and release. Now let's do that dynamically. Lift up, breathe in, exhale, sway to the side, tight belly, come on up, breathe in and sway back down. I want you to focus on engaging the belly as you come up. So breathe in, lift, root those feet into the ground. And then as you exhale, you're softening everything. The shoulders, the face, the neck, the side of the body. Great. Inhale, lift. And sway soft. Good. Come on back up. Lift up and release. Other side. Up. Tall spine and soften, breathe out, good. Come on back up, lift up, tight belly, and then exhale, relax, softening, softening. You got it, come on back up, breathing in and out. Good, inhale, lift, and exhale, release. We're gonna gather our hands together as though we're scooping up an imaginary ball here. I want you to take that ball all the way up, so nice tall spine, up here, and then as you get to your chin, kind of upper chest area, I want you to turn the palms and push up. Looking up, it feels okay for your neck. Look up, and then release the arms down to the sides. Breathe out, good. Again, scooping, breathing in, tall spine, draw that belly in, get to the chin and breathe out, push up. Looking up if it's okay for your neck, inhale and then exhale, release, breathe out. Again, breathing in here, gathering and then pushing up, breathing out. Up, inhale here, exhale, extend breathe out. We're going to do two more of those. Again, breathing in, exhale, breathe out, push, good, inhale, tight belly, and then exhale, soften everything. You got it. One more time, breathing in, and then lengthen, breathe out, push up, inhale, and then exhale, soft arms, soft shoulders all the way down. You got it, perfect. We're gonna take the arms out again, opening up, imagining you're just offering something outward here, breathing in, looking maybe both sides, and then releasing, okay? Again, breathing in, open up, hold it, soft elbows, soft shoulders, look, breathing, look, and then release. Now if that's too much for the neck, then we're gonna open up maybe just to this place. Look, look, and release. Do not hold your breath, okay? We're gonna do that two more times. Breathing in, expand only to the place that feels good for you. Breathing and releasing. Again, breathing in. Look, breathing, and releasing. Well done. Okay, we're gonna take the left arm up, up to the sky, and extend the other arm below. So we're expanding. And at this time, I want you to push into, imagine the ceiling up above, and the imaginary floor right below the hand below. So extending, drawing the belly in, lengthening the body, lengthening, opening up those shoulders, breathing in, and then releasing. Let's do the other side. Extend and press. Breathing and releasing. Okay, again, lift, push, push, breathe in and release. Okay, other side, up, down, push, breathe in 
and release. Good. Other side, lift, push, extend, breathe in, and release. Last side here, up, down, push, ceiling, and floor, lift, breathe in, and release. Okay, let's roll out the shoulders, still keeping that really great posture. For three, ooh, this feels nice, two, one. Okay, we're gonna gently place our fingertips on top of the shoulders, and I'd like you to take the elbow up and around, other side up and around. So your sits bones are rooted into the chair, but I want you to soften into that waist so that you can be moving with it a little. Now we're gonna add the breath here. So in and out, in and out with the breath. In and out, in and out. So are you gripping onto your shoulder? I just want you to place it so there's no tension in the wrist. Okay, in and out with the breath, in and out, in and out, in and out. Now try up and back, up and back, breathing, up and back, up and back. Keep that belly nice and tight, keep that spine nice and tall, in and out. How's that feel? Let's release those hands and those wrists. Good. I want you to give yourself a little shake and I want you to shake out those wrists. Now, I'd like you to take those hands and show me some wrist circles. So, gentle fist, nothing too intense. We're going to roll out the wrists. For three, don't forget to breathe, two, and one. Good. Now, let's roll them inward. Ooh, they're clickety clacketing for me today. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now, imagine you're playing the piano with me here. We're making a musical composition. I want you to wiggle those fingers and play this grand piano. So when you have an imaginary grand piano, the keys, the chords are very hard. So you really need to put some deep pressure on those fingers working into those joints. You got it, perfect. Keep it up. Outward, now inward, now upward, and all the way down to the side. Woo, fatigue. Shake it out, well done. Okay, take your hands onto the, the tops of your thighs. We're gonna go for a first seated cow pose. I want you to roll the shoulders back and down, stick the tailbone out, Lift up your heart, lift the chin up slightly, open up the heart, and breathe. Inhale here, good, and then exhale. Draw that chin into the chest, draw the belly to the back of the chair, reach the fingertips to the front. You got it, perfect. We're gonna do a few more of those. Breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. I love this pose because it helps us articulate the spine. Breathing in and out. Good. Breathing in and out. Okay, two more. Breathing in and out. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Find your depth of that curve in your back. In and out. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. From here, I'd like you to take your hands to the heart now. Take the hands up the midline, breathe in, and then sway to the side. A little bit more stretching into the side of the body now. You got it. Breathing in, relax those shoulders, breathe out. Good, inhaling, exhaling. Tight belly, come on up, breathing in and breathe out, soften a little. Root those feet into the ground, tight belly up, and open up the arms, well done. Breathe in here, and then release. Okay, we're gonna do something that's called the archer, and we're gonna do this in a seated position. We're gonna take the arms up here, 
Okay, so the backs of my hands are facing you. They should be facing me at this point. The elbows are kind of closer together. At this point, in this archer pose, I want you to take your right hand and start to make an L shape with your index finger and your thumb all the way out. So I'm mirroring you. This is actually my left arm, but you're using your right. So go ahead and do that L extending. And then with your opposite left hand, you're gonna pull as though you're pulling that string back, right? We're an archer here. We're gonna pull it back right across the chest. What we're doing is opening up this beautiful meridian here that affects our large intestine, our triple energizer, okay? And even because we're squeezing that um, baby finger, even our small intestine is being affected too. So as we pull back here, are you feeling comfortable with that now? I want you to go look at that L. Good, breathe in here and then soften, bring your hands back so the backs of the hands are facing me. We're gonna do the other side and we're gonna pull that string. So the right hand's gonna come into a fist, it's gonna be pulling out and then we're gonna extend the other arm out, okay? Good. Now when we do this position, I want you to make sure that you're not overextending, so that you're not hyperextending that back, the arms are not going behind you, you're just perfectly even and exactly where you need to be, okay? Everybody have that? Good. Now let's release the arms and now we're gonna do that in a dynamic sequence, okay? So let's pull the arms up, breathe in. Now we're gonna take the right hand to that L position and pull back. Good, bringing back here, breathe in, and then breathe out. Left hand goes out, you got it. Inhaling, soft hands, and pull. Great, inhaling, soft, and now a little bit more dynamic. You got it, inhaling. So you're doing a fist with that left hand and L with the right. You got it, bring it in, breathing in, fist with the right hand and L with the left. Okay, good, breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing in, tall spine. Don't forget that marionette head. You got it, good, breathing in, breathing out, in, Breathing out. How was that? In and release. Now let's scoop it all up. Breathing in, push it out, breathe out. In and out with the breath. Two more. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and out. Last one. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now to really warm up the body, I'd like to do a seated sun salutation. So we're gonna make sure our feet are rooted down to the ground. Arms come up, touch, breathe out. Hands come to the sides of the body or even into your lower back. You're gonna go ahead and rub here. Now you're gonna stop, roll the shoulders back. Inhale for a chest up. And then exhale, pressing on the sides of the legs with the heel of your hands, press down and come on down. Breathe out. Now, depending on how far you can go, you go all the way, or maybe you're just coming right down to the tops of your thighs. Your practice, your choice. When you get down here, you're gonna root the feet into the floor, tuck your belly in and start to breathe in. Take your hands on the inside of the legs. Come on up, breathe in. Let's roll the shoulders back and down, okay? Inhale, arms up, touch. Exhale, hands to the sides or to the lower back. Go ahead and give yourself a little rub here. Inhale with the chest up and then exhale. Heel of the hands pressing to down. Exhale, exhale, down to the sides of the legs. Good, root the feet into the ground, tight belly, hands on the inside of the legs, come on up. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back and down. Okay, does everybody have it? Let's do it. Breathe in, touch. Breathe out. Inhaling. Exhale down. 
tight belly, come on up. Inhaling, exhaling, rolling out the shoulders. Again, inhale, touch, exhale. Breathe in, breathing out. Tight belly, come on up. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, two more. Inhale, touch, exhale, hands down. Rub, 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 breathe in, breathing out. <sighs> Inhale, tight belly, come on up. Tight, tight belly, support the lower back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Breathing in, ooh, nice little stretch. Breathe out, <sighs> tight belly, root those feet. Come on up, breathing in, and roll the shoulders back. Well done, how does that feel? Do you feel a little bit more warm? Let's take, go ahead and take a breath here. Inhaling, <coughs> excuse me, exhaling. <clears throat> Whoosh. Really warmed up the body, got things moving, I love it. Okay, we're gonna take the hands all the way back up, in, <clears throat> breathing out, <sighs> breathing in, and let's take our hands to the heart here. Resolidifying our position on our chair, our feet back in, rooted into the ground. Nice tall spine, crown of the head lifted. Breathe in, tighten those belly muscles. Go ahead and turn to the left. Good, come on back to center. Turn to the right. Good, come back to center. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. So, the more you engage your belly, the more you're enhancing this practice, okay? It's your practice, your yoga. Inhaling, exhaling. So if I'm engaging as I'm twisting, I'm really working on my core here. Come on back, release, relax. Breathe in, tight, tight, tight. Squeeze, breathe out, squeezing out more. Good, come on back, relax. Whoosh. Breathing in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale back. Breathe in, breathing out. Tight, 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 belly. Breathing in, and then relax. Oosh, how does that feel? Let's go ahead and lower the right ear to the right shoulder. Good, come on back to center. Left ear to left shoulder. Good. Ah, chin in, lower the head down, and then come on up. And then let's look up gently. Ooh, that feels really good. And let's release. Okay, now let's work on the lower part of our body, <clears throat> getting ready to prepare to work on this part of the body where we're gonna work our core. So it's very important now, we're really gonna focus on pressing those feet into the floor, whichever foot is on the ground, and engaging the belly and try to lengthen through the crown of the head. So you may have your hands here or to the side of the chair because you may want to use it for support gripping onto the chair. It's your practice, your choice. At this time, I want you to try to root that left foot into the ground and engage the belly, lifting the right foot up. Breathe in and release. Good, up and release. Up and release, don't hold your breath. Up and release. Let's try the other side, tight belly, up, and release. Was one side harder than the other? Up and release. Up, engage your belly, release. Up and release. Okay, not bad, right? We're gonna do the arms with this. Lift your arms up, relax those shoulders, breathe in, and as the arms come down, we're gonna lift up the leg. Tight belly, lengthen through the crown of the head. You got it. Lift, breathe in, breathe out. In and out with the breath. Okay, so we're really working our core here. Lift and release. Breathing in, breathing out. In and out. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in, breathing out. In and out. How's it feeling? Breathe in. If you need to take a break, take a break. In and out. We're gonna go for five more. In. Out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Perfect, lift and release. Okay, sun salutation. Up, touch, hands to the sides, rub, 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 breathe in, breathe out, come on down. Inhale, tight belly, press up and release. Okay, well done. Now let's try extending the leg now out. So arms up and this time, Hands are gonna come down, tight belly, the leg's gonna press right in front. Okay, so rather than up, it's gonna go in front. Okay, so arm up and down, leg comes out. Good, lift and out. Okay, so inhale, exhale. It's very important, we're engaging our belly, supporting the lower back, in and out. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, you got it, in, out, you're doing so good. Breathe in, breathe out. How's it feeling? Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out with the breath. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Tight belly, breathe out. We're supporting our spine. We gotta tighten that belly. Breathe out, in, out, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, last one, out, Woo, release. Arms up, down to the side, rub, 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 breathe in, and press down, breathe out. Tight belly, come on up, breathing in, and release, well done. Okay, now I'd like you to try, if you can take your hands to the sides of the chair, really scooch back, Really make sure your sits bones are nicely firmly into the chair. Tighten your belly muscles. We're gonna see how does it feel, okay? We've already done one, one at a time. Can we take our hands using some support with the side of our chair, engaging the belly muscles to support our lower back? Can we ooh, lift up both feet, okay, and release? Okay, how does that feel? Does that feel insane or crazy for you? Let's try up and down. Up and down. Ooh, up and down. Tight, tight, tight. Up and down. Now if this is too much, then you're doing this. And down. Up and down, right? Up and down. We're gonna do five more. Up, down. Keep on breathing. Tight belly up, down. Don't curve. Lift up the chest, up. Down, chest up, up, down, two more, up, down, tight belly, up, and down. Oh, great, arms up. We did it. Exhale, breathe out. Now, grab into that lower back. Give it a nice little rub here. Rub, 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 rub. Feels so good. Rub that lower back, okay? Inhale, chest up. And then exhale, press on the sides of the legs, breathe out. And then inhale, press on the inside of the legs. We're working our yin meridians and yang meridians. Roll the shoulders back and down. Well done, we're gonna do that one more time. Arm up and down. Rub into the lower back. Rub, 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 rub. Warm it up, warm up those kidneys. Beautiful, breathe in. And then side of the legs, breathe out. Inhale. Come up on the inside of the legs <sighs> and release. Well done. Okay, from here, root that foot down into the ground, so your left foot. I want you to go ahead and take the right knee up into the chest. So really sitting nice and tall. Again, we're always focused on engaging the belly muscles, chest up, okay? We're gonna chest up here, breathe in, and now I want you to round the back, breathe out. Good, lift and release, let's do the other side, okay? Root that right foot into the ground, lift that left leg up, chest up, back straight, tight belly, breathe in here, and then exhale, rounding the back. Good, inhale, and then exhale, breathe out. How did that feel? Okay, now we're gonna scooch that knee back up, lifting chest up, and then I'd like you to place the top part of your ankle right onto the top of your thigh. Okay, so never on the kneecap, but just a little bit above. 
How does this feel? This is figure four, okay? If you look down, it's a nice shape of the number four here. Now this can be a pretty intense stretch for many people right here in the glute, okay? And the fascia that wraps around our biggest muscle here in the hip and the bum is um, really needs always some extra little tender loving care, which is why we were kind of rubbing it earlier in the practice. So this feels pretty good, like you're getting a deep stretch here already just by just doing this. I want you to relax into this pose. See if you can go a little bit more, but again, knowing how you're feeling. I want you to draw the belly in, hinge at the waist, come forward. Ooh. And then you're gonna feel, ooh, there's something going on here. I'm really deepening into this stretch here. When you feel that into that hip space, I want you to round the upper back, and melt forward. Why we do that is so that we're not putting any undue pressure on our sciatic nerve here, and we don't want to give ourselves, or the piriformis, we don't want to give ourselves sciatica. That would not be fun. So that's why when you feel that, we're going to round the upper back, no pressure on this area, the lower back area, and we're rounding the back, upper back, and melting. Great, now from here, breathe in, <sighs> out, inhaling, exhale, Whew. one more breath, can you soften a little bit more, breathe in, and then melt, Ooh. out, well done. Okay, so to come out of this pose, again, this tight belly stuff, we need to tighten our belly muscles to support our lower back, so engage your belly, and then inhale as you lift up, breathe in, and then I'd like you to see if you can cross the leg right on over. I'm gonna toe heel my bottom foot right to the center. So now I'm in a beautiful Garudasana posture, which is cow facing pose. Um, but that is when we're seated um, on our sits bones, but it also could look like eagle pose. Okay, so we're gonna, you can have this foot dangling, or if you really wanna be adventurous, Maybe you wanna like scooch the foot around. Do what's best for you and it's your practice, okay? I'm gonna keep my foot out uh, today. I'm one of those, my day is a grumpy day actually, to be honest. So we're gonna keep the shoulders right on top of the waist and we're gonna go for a nice gentle twist here. So let's go ahead and take the right hand, your right hand, place it behind you. We're gonna take the left hand to the outside of this right thigh. Good, we're gonna breathe in. Inhale to lift and lengthen up through the spine and then exhale, twist. So when we twist in, these, um, in this scenario, I want you to soften. We're not gonna grind into the sit bones. We're gonna soften into the hip a little and allow the body to melt as we twist, okay? So we're keeping it long and lengthened as we breathe in. And then we're softening a little bit into the lower waist, into the pelvis as we twist. Good. You're gonna try to keep the chin right over the sternum, that flat bone right here. So we're not turning our head just yet. Okay, again, breathe in, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, twist. Ooh, this feels great. Now, if the head agrees, go ahead, look behind you. Okay, breathe in. And then, staying in the twist, look over the opposite shoulder. How does this feel? Breathe in and out. This is such a yummy pose for me because I have such, I have arthritis in my neck and I have two torn shoulders, so this feels so good. Breathe in. One more breath, inhaling, exhale. Ah, very good. To come out of this pose, we're gonna breathe in and then exhale, unwind. Okay, since we're still in this cross-legged position, let's go and just kind of work this extra little bit. So we're gonna take the arms out in front. This arm matching this leg, this arm to this leg, matching this arm. We're gonna take it and it's going to be the opposite. So we're crossing the left over the right and I want you to go ahead and grab your shoulders. 
Now we're in real eagle posture here. Sitting nice and tall, make sure the shoulders are stacked right back on top of the waist. Draw the belly in, breathe in here, and then out. Now, I want you to pull the elbows away from the shoulders. So say I'm pulling them toward you, you're pulling your elbows toward me. Good, now do you feel that nice, beautiful stretch on the back of your, um, your shoulder blades, your scapulas? Oh, that feels nice. We're gonna breathe in here and out. Now, for those of you who want a little bit more, I want you to take the hands off and press the backs of your hands. If you want a little extra oomph, you're gonna press the hands together. Oosh. Now, in these cases, here, here, or here, I want you to find yourself taking the arms up or the elbows up. So it could look like this. And then we're gonna release down. Okay, so I showed you all the options. I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna do this today. We're gonna lift up with the elbows, breathe in, and then exhale down. And while you're doing this, you're gently pulling those elbows away from the shoulders, okay? So you're getting that nice, kind of deepening that stretch into the back. Good, breathe in and release everything. Ooh, okay, open the chest up, nice heart opener here. And then from here, still in this cross-legged position, we're going to hinge at the waist, come on forward, take your hands on top of the thighs, good. From here, breathing in and out, inhaling, exhaling. Okay, tight belly, press up, and help that leg undo. And I want you to notice what you're feeling. So we kind of did a little bit of yin yoga in a chair yoga practice, where we did a significant amount of time and compression on our psoas. This was all compressed by scrunching it all together here. When we do that, we now with that release, we're allowing hyaluronic acid, synovial fluid, it's just rushing to this psoas area and it's like flooding it. Do you feel a little bit different? Does it feel good? Does it not feel good? Does this leg feel a little bit, ooh, a little bit more open because you're allowing for that blood and chi, your chi is your life force to flood that space, okay? So let's do the other side. How does that feel? Do you need to give yourself a little shake? Sometimes it feels good. It's like, oosh. Give yourself a little jiggly jiggly, shakety shakety. Okay. Now we have to remember what we did on the other side. Okay, let's do the other side now. We're gonna press into the right foot, squeeze that left knee into the chest, squeeze, 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 and then place that foot down. Okay. So again, we're just above the ankle here, and we're placing it above the knee, so nothing on that kneecap. Both sit bones are still on the chair, remembering what that felt like on the other side. And now what we're noticing is one side of the body feel grumpier than the other, so we're gonna make sure we take time and we do what's best for our body. Okay, so again, hinging at the waist, leading with the chest with a nice flat back coming forward, noticing ooh, where your edge is, and then, oh, I'm feeling like this is the spot, this is the good spot. I'm going to round my upper back and melt forward for three deep conscious breaths. Breathe in and out, melting and soften, soften. As you breathe out, let it go, breathe out. Inhaling, exhale, relaxing, breathe Inhaling, exhaling, <sighs> how was that? Okay, tight belly, we're gonna slowly press ourselves up. Good, hey tight belly, breathe in. And then from here, we are going to cross that leg over. Okay, I'm gonna toe heel that foot into the center, the bottom one, both sits bones are still rooted into the chair, feeling good here. Now taking our left hand behind us, kind of like a kickstand, right? Nice and close to the tailbone. And we're gonna take the right hand to the outside of that left thigh. Okay, so from here, chin right over the sternum, breathing in, lift and lengthen, and exhale, twist. 
lift and lengthen, exhale, twist. Remembering we're not grinding the sits bones into the chair, we're relaxing, softening. Breathing in, exhale, twist, good. Now, let's go ahead and look behind us. Breathe in, ooh, that's a great neck stretch. Breathe in, and then exhale. Go ahead and look over the opposite shoulder. And as you're looking, I want you to soften both shoulders here, maybe closing your eyes to deepen into the stretch. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhaling. Breathe in and out. <sighs> Great. From here, we're going to inhale and then exhale, unwind. Perfect. Okay, now for our eagle arms, we're going to take our hands in front. We're going to cross the right over the left and then go ahead and take your hands on top of the shoulders. Okay, so take a breath here. Make sure you're resituated, shoulders on top of the waist, crown of head lifted. And breathing in and out. Now, what does it feel like to pull those elbows a little bit more away from the shoulders, okay? And toward me, how does that feel? Good? And then what does it feel like to maybe to cross the backs of the hands or pressing the hands together? Okay, so find your best eagle arms here, here, or here, okay? And we're at that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift elbows up and then down. So if your hands are on the shoulders, it would just look like this, up and down. But you're gently pulling the elbows away from the shoulders. Just gently, gently breathe in and out. And when you breathe out, you're relaxing. In and out. One more breath, in. And then I want you to release it all. Okay, chest up, heart opener, roll those shoulders back, breathe in, tight belly, hinge at the waist, come forward, breathe out. Lean right like this. Two, now let's go three breaths. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. So we're conscious, we're compressing this space here on purpose. Breathing in and out. Last one, breathe in and out. Okay, tight belly, press up and help that leg and then notice this beautiful whoosh flow of blood and chi this hyaluronic acid, the synovial fluid. When we compress our joints together, we do these compressions, we're allowing this, oh, beautiful opening. So I'm so happy to incorporate a little bit of yin yoga with our chair practice, which ties into our Chinese medicine. Now you'll notice that at this point, my legs are further apart from each other. So go ahead and toe heel your feet up as comfortably as you can out from the space. We're going to just open it up to feel a little bit more um, a little bit more open in this practice now because we've compressed it and now it needs a little bit more opening. From here, take the fingertips on the inside of the legs and we're going to go deepen into our shoulders and we're just going to bend forward, just nice and easy. Breathe in and breathe out. So the shoulder comes in and the elbow sticks out. Good. Breathe in, chest up and breathe out. In and out, in and out with the breath, inhaling, exhale, breathing in and out. So as we breathe in, we're tightening our belly as we come up, in and out. Good, that's it. Come on up. Now from here, I'd like you to do a little bit of a rotation. So what we're doing is little mini cows and little mini cats. So you'll notice I'm scooping in and then I'm sticking my chest out and my tail out here. And then I'm 
scooching in, chest, chin in, tummy in, and then I'm moving. Okay, so now we're doing this with breath. Inhaling, exhale. Okay, in, out, in, and out. Good. Okay, let's do the other way. Rotating the other way. And maybe you're feeling, ooh, I'm more fluid now. I'm feeling really nice and everything's feeling really juicy and fluidy now in the body, especially in the waist and the hip. Good. Are you breathing? Inhaling. And exhale. In. You can make it really exaggerated. Stick the chest, stick the tail out, and then come right on in. Ooh. And then out. And in. Whoa. Good. Let's do one more. Breathe in. And out. Oh. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Okay. From here, we're going to take the arms out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. Again. Inhaling. Exhale. Again. Breathing in. And then breathing out. Now, we're going to use that same practice as we did earlier. We're going to scoop up breathing. So, but now I want you to visualize. This is a practice to actually move the irrigation of our body, the triple energizer, which helps with our fluids and our temperature levels. So I want you to imagine you're scooping up this beautiful energy from the toes, coming all the way up through the legs, up through the middle space of the body here, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Breathing in, scooping all the way up, and breathing out. In, and exhale, breathe out. Last one, breathing in, and breathing out. Inhale, and then exhale. Well done. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and toe heel those feet back so that they're hip width distance apart. I'm gonna readjust myself so I feel nice and firmly secure on the chair. My knees are back on top of my ankles and my shoulders right on top of the waist. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come on down onto our thighs. Okay, from here, we're gonna do a little side twist. Really great for our side, our hip, our shoulders, our rib cage. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and take the right arm all the way up. Nice side five. Okay, and in this posture, I want you to open up the chest, open up the hip, so no restrictions here. Okay, lifting up and then releasing. Good, other side, breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing in and out. Inhaling. Exhale, in, out, in, out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, and out. One more set, in, and out, Whew. inhale, and exhale. Okay, really press your feet into the earth. I want you to engage your belly muscles here. Take your hands to your heart. Put them in prayer position. Engage your belly muscles, press into your heels. Inhale, press, 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 press up. And release. Okay, well done. Now we're at the part of our practice where I really wanna to start to tap out the entire body to close our practice. So. We need to tap on the whole parts, the outer side of our body, the yang channels first before we move into our yin. I'm gonna have my hand in a gentle fist position. I'm gonna start tapping on the top of my shoulder here. Gallbladder 21. This is gallbladder 21 acupuncture point that I love to use when people have lots of neck and shoulder tension and usually people that are very stressed. So I'm gonna um, tap here because it's really great. To, I love to close our practice with this because it just helps to just 
soothe and move all of that negative energy, any sort of stagnated chi, um, chi and blood in the body, and then that would feel super fluid and flexible when we're done. I'm gonna tap here, and then I want you to tap on the out of side of the arm, okay? And then turn the palm, tap on the inside of the arm. So sometimes I start the practice doing this, but today we're start, we're finishing with it. It's a nice finisher too, okay? Tap down and up. So you can tap as hard or as lightly as you wish. I like to go a little bit more firmly because I got some shoulder tension. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna go down and up. So I did that three times. I'm gonna come across the chest and then tapping here, right underneath the collarbones. Tap, 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 tap. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the right hand and now tap on gallbladder 21 on the other side. Perfect. Now tapping on the outside of the arm and up. Okay, tap, tap, tap on the top. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. So this may seem like a really mundane practice, but tapping onto the meridians of the body is and starting, there's proven facts that it helps to, you know, release and move your lymphatic um, system, helps to assist it, and it helps you to drain, right? So drain meaning move those fluids, have a little bit more um, blood flow, and circulation. Great. Okay, come on up and let's tap. Now, palms open now. I want you to tap onto just kind of like the top of your belly and then the bottom of your belly. Okay, we're just tapping. So, I'm doing two hands at the same time. Some people like to do this. It's depending on your rhythm. I just like to tap. I'm just making it a little boring this way. So I'm going to tap here, and I'm tapping below. Good. So, really encouraging that circulation. Perfect. Now, from here, stroke, press, press, press. Now, breathe. All the way across. Stroke, stroke, breathe. And up. Down, up. Down and up, down on the out and up on the in, down and up. Okay, last one, down, up, down and up. Now, notice how do your arms feel? Ooh, a little bit tingly, blood flow, chi and blood's flowing there beautifully. I always like to take a nice deep breath after that. Okay, let's do a little rub on the abdominal space. Now, I'm gonna look, I'm not gonna mirror you because if I did that mirroring of the opposite direction, I could actually make myself more constipated. I don't wanna do that. So I wanna be able to go down on the left side. So focus, where's your left? The left side of the body. And they come around gently, gently, no pressure, no pressure and then just down here. So we're doing basically clockwise circles with a little more pressure to help for regularity. Um, the transverse here, and then the lower um, colon going down, okay? The descending colon. So transverse here, a little more pressure, and then on the um, descending colon, and they come on back up. So we're gonna just breathe as we do this. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the tapping on the on the legs. So we already gave it a lot of love when we did our sun salutation because I always love adding that to it. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the outside of the legs. And the same thing applies when we go down, when we, before we come up, we have to engage our belly muscles and we're gonna tap on the inside, okay? Engage your belly muscles, tap, down, tight belly, come on up, down, and up. 
Good. Down. And breathe in. Come on up. How is it? How does that feel? Now, rub. Breathe in. Rub. Press more firmly. Down. And inhale. Press up. Okay. Again, breathing out. Press down. And press firmly. Come on up. Notice, is everything feeling beautiful, kind of flowy, buzzy for the body? Let's go ahead and open up the chest for seated cow pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Okay. Well done, you did it. Let's close our practice with our hands to our heart. Let's take a moment together to thank for the gift of today. And then thank you, I wanna take a moment to thank you for the gift of you and for the gift of practicing with you. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you everyone. If you enjoyed this practice, please subscribe to me and then check out some of my other videos here. I have some ones that I've done on my patio and also in my home studio. I look forward to seeing you on my channel. Send me a comment. I'd love to know where you're practicing from and then if you have any suggestions of to what else you may want to see in your in a chair yoga practice, share with me. I'd love to learn and know more. Namaste everyone.